I'm always running out of few sources to smelt things in Minecraft. And after doing some research, I found out that dried kelp blocks is a great fuel source. It's easy and it's everywhere. Okay, this is taking too long. You know what? Let's build ourselves a kelp factory with multiple automatic kelp farms, kelp streams and waterfalls, and other cool gadgets inside our factory district that has our sheep, iron, gold, and wood factories. And I think this would be a great area to build this right beside this lake because I have a pretty cool idea for this kelp factory design. But first, I need to replace all of this stone with some grass because it's looking kind of bland. And I'm done. Also, I totally didn't almost die to a creeper while building this thing. Like, only a new boy. Oh! Uh, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> now we're gonna need a ton of bricks to build this factory. So, let's uh, grab... Oh, that is not a lot. Hey, perfect. And the factory is done. See ya. I'm just kidding. We're gonna need a ton of bricks to build this factory. And the best way to get them is to trade with the villagers. So let's head over to my super classy villager home, which is uh in this cave. Oh, why do we have a bunch of stone cutters here? <laughs> Um, hello guys. Hello I'm sorry for never upgrading your home. It's just so amazing. I can't even make it any better. <laughs> Are you sure about that? All right, let's give a bunch of them jobs. Oh yeah, here we go. Nice. Let's go grab unlimited emeralds. Oh my, that was a really limp firework. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, uh. all right. Let's grab all this and let's start trading with the villagers. So now with all of these bricks, we can start building out the frame of the factory. Wait a second. I was supposed to use andesite blocks. Bruh. All right, it's all fixed up. But now let's continue building out the frame, but like vertically. I don't really want to copy this exact design for these factories because uh, they're totally all so different. <laughs> all three are different shapes, obviously. So I'm going to try something new with this factory. Let's see how it turns out. Yeah, it's basically the same thing without the slanted uh, rooftops. All I did was make it flat <laughs> and it's a little shorter. So yeah, brand new design. This is basically the Apple way of making iPhones. And don't ask why there's a giant hole right in the middle of this factory. You're just going to have to watch the behind the scenes to know. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Oh, and I'm out of dirt. All right, now let's craft some anisite stairs and slabs and decorate this bottom row. And I also added some iron fences at the bottom just to give it a little bit of like umph or something like that. All right, now we're finally ready to start working on these windows. I'm just going to make them out of brick and just give it a giant opening to let a bunch of light in for the kelp because they totally need sun to grow, right? Wrong. I made that up. The sun doesn't make you grow. Maybe that's why I'm, sh I'm super short, but you know what? Let's, let's just build these windows. And to change it up a little bit, I added some sandstone for these little pillars and some chiseled sandstone up here in these little slits. So yeah, take that. Now the factory's different. <laughs> uh, I'm a terrible builder. Oh. All right, let's finish up these windows. It's not looking too bad, actually. I kind of like this boxy look for some reason. Maybe because we're playing Minecraft and everything is blocks, if you guys haven't noticed. But I kind of dig it. Well, let's go ahead and grab some more bricks. Uh, and I still need to fill in these front and back walls. Because this is where the kelp sign item thing will go. Yeah. <laughs> now let's craft some anisite slabs. And fill in the rooftop. That was, a, that was a bad angle. Um, Fill in the rooftop. Ah, that totally wasn't painful at all. Honestly, I think I made this factory a little too short. Um, It kind of looks like a midget factory or like a chode. But um, yeah, <laughs> there's nothing we can do about it now. Anyways, now we need to build these. Oh my, why do I do this every time? I always forget to light things up. Ugh. All right, see ya. Let's just come over here and grab some materials to build the windows. Okay, hopefully all the mobs have despawned. Um, okay, I think we're good. Oh, never mind. They're spawning again. At least it's not creepers. Let's go grab my torches. Uh, where are my torches? There are. Ah. Come on, quick, 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 quick. And we're good. Oh, oh Dugan! Hiya! He ain't good. <laughs> all right, for these windows, I'm actually gonna... Oh, 
Oh. I'm gonna make an inner layer of wood so it just has like a contrast to the entire factory. And mainly because if I don't, these glass panes would just kind of look weird with these stairs. Um, yeah, that's kind of hideous. Just like that. So from the outside, you can't even tell. But while I build these windows, do you guys have too much money and you just desperately need to spend it on something cool? Well, look no further because if you go to a cookiegod.shop, you can spend your money on some cookie merch. There are some super awesome hoodie and shirt designs that you can buy. And all of the money will go towards feeding me because I'm, I'm kind of starving. So yeah, go to a cookiegod.shop. Love you guys. <laughs> Oh my god, that freaking Slenderman horror game. This is a Minecraft so a kid's game? Where did he come from? Oh my god. Okay, now that the exterior is all complete, we just need to build the interior where the automatic kelp farms will go. So let's fly over to my other factory, the wood one. Wee let's grab some wood and let's fly back. Okay, this really bothers me how short it looks. <laughs> it looks like it's been squished down. Ah, being squished down does stink. <laughs> Uh, let's turn these into planks. Uh. And all of the interior walls will be spruce wood and the floor will be oak wood. Kind of like this. <laughs> That, that was really painful. Oh, man, my wrist my wrist really hurts. Well, time to take a break. Uh, okay, I'm back, and let's get working on this again. But before we do, this is what the area looked like at the beginning of the video. Wow. And this is what it looks like now. We have completely transformed and terraformed this entire area. It, it, it's pretty cool. It used to be just boring stone, and now it's all gone, and there's a giant factory. This is basically the Industrial Revolution all over again. Clear the land, destroy the world, and build a factory on top of it. But anyways, here's the game plan for the inside of the factory. I'll be building two separate automatic kelp farms here and here that will produce me unlimited kelp that we can turn into dried kelp blocks as a fuel source. There's also going to be a nice water stream coming from the outside of the building that will supply the kelp farm with water. And that water will be coming out of a water wheel from the lake. And to fill up all of this empty space, I'll be building a bunch of cool gadgets like kelp waterfalls, kelp conveyor belts, and a dried kelp storage block area thingy majiggy. Yeah, that was cringe. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, this is going to be pretty fun. But since we're building two separate kelp farms, Farms. One is going to be a lot easier and one is going to be a lot more advanced. So let's start working on the easier one right here. This one's going to be pretty simple. So all I need are pistons, redstone, and observers. And maybe a few blocks. All right, now that I have all of the materials, let's remove all of this wool and let's work on the layout. Let's craft some chests and it'll go somewhere right here where the collection system will be. Let's put it right here. And this will just help me figure out how tall I need to build this. So the first line of kelp will be right here, I'm guessing. Then it'll go up three blocks for a piston and observer. And it'll just gradually go up like this, like a staircase. Um... Yeah, that's uh, that's my plan. This might go terribly wrong. <laughs> All right, ow. let's build out a little platform right here. That will go in a straight line. And this is where the kelp will be grown. Let's put another line right here of blocks. Then right in the middle will be a bunch of pistons. So when the kelp grows, this will push it and break it. And now we just need observers, right? Oh, we need it. Um, Let's put another line behind the pistons. Let's put a line of observers. Yep, I I messed all of that up. <laughs> Just uh, fix it. And now some redstone right behind the observer, and this should work. So if the cup grows up to the observer right here, it's gonna oh ow. It's going to activate all of the pistons just like that and break them. Then they'll flow into the chest. So that's uh, oh, so that is how it's going to work. That's that's pretty cool. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure kelp could just grow in any block. I think I don't I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but let's go up here and build the other layers. All right, we're right at the rooftop, so let's fill it in this last wall. This is where the water will go, so it won't destroy all this redstone in the back. All right. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Now let's head over to my OP auto smelters, which is right here. <laughs> Amazing. Let's grab some glass. Oh God, we have a we have a ton of glass. Let's fly back and let's build a giant wall of glass to contain the water. All right, look at that. That's looking pretty cool. Except that weird window bit sticking out. I, that kind of bothers me. And I know that bothers some of you, so I'm going to leave it. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I, I have to fix it. We go. All right, now that this is entirely enclosed, we can put some water down. Um, 
god. Oh, 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 with that. Okay, um, I forgot water activates it too. <laughs> Actually, I need an infinite water source. So, so let's do this. And now I can make a row of water all the way up here at the top, like this. And now if I break all of this stone, we're gonna hear a lot of noise. <laughs> oh god. Okay, it seems like it's working. Okay, some of the water bits kind of messed up. I'm not sure what happened, but it should still work. So let's fly over here, anywhere in the ocean, and let's collect a bunch of kelp. And this would be the last time I'll be doing this. Let's collect all of this junk from the ocean. Whee! And now we have our automatic kelp farm. And it's already grown pretty quickly. There's already a few kelp blocks that are two blocks high. All right, now let's work in the collection system. All right. Uh, uh, let's grab some hoppers. And I need a smoker. How in the world do I make a smoker? Um, Please tell me I just have one in these chests. Where's Waldo? Come on. Where are you? There's got to be one in here, right? Please please. Well, I'm too lazy to search up how to craft it, so let's fly over to the nearest village and steal one. Bruh, I searched like three villages and I can't find a single smoker. Do smokers even exist in Minecraft? Like, bruh. Oh, I see a chimney here. Come on, come on. Please, 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 please. Bruh, what? I swear. Okay. How to craft a smoker. Are you kidding me? That's all I needed? Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought. I just wasted so much time. All right, let's fill up this entire platform with hoppers and I'm already out. Nice. Here we go. So now all of the kelp should be collected by the hoppers. Now let's just connect it to some smokers that will connect to the chest. Let's put some fuel inside. And now all of the kelp that's collected will go into these smokers and dry up the kelp into some... Into... Wait, where'd it go? Wait, where... Is it invisible? Wait, where's it going? Oh, into the chest. I'm dumb. And into some dried kelp. And we're going to use this dried kelp to turn into some dried kelp blocks. A smelt kelp. And I can't believe this is actually the first time I've ever held a kelp block in Minecraft. Like a like a legit kelp block. I didn't even know it made a leaf sound. <laughs> That's how out of touch I am. But there we go. That is our first automatic kelp farm complete. And it's pretty efficient, but not as efficient as the next one. The second kelp farm that I'm going to build right here in this red circle or this red square. I don't know my shapes. It's going to get us a lot more kelp. But we're basically going to need to fill up this entire cube with water. So let's fill it in with some walls. All right, now that we have this giant box, we're going to fill it up with a bunch of kelp and there's going to be some piston moving thingies that will break it up right here. There'll be two of them. I have no idea if this fly machine will work in this small of a space, but we'll give it a try. If it does work, it's going to look super cool, but let's go grab some materials. All right, this is basically everything I need. Let's put a sticky piston right here, some honey blocks beside it, and a sticky piston facing into the honey block. Let's add three honey blocks on the other side. And this is the fly machine that will break the kelp. Let's put one right here and here. Now let's break this glass and I need to put another observer kind of behind this guy like that let's place a piece of obsidian right here and this will stop the uh fly machine from going through this wall and it'll send it back that way let's put a sticky piston on top of it a block here and a lever and now on the other side I think I need to put a obsidian block somewhere here I I think I'm kind of just right clicking blocks at the moment um or it could be here let's just make an entire row of obsidian and um Pray. Yep. Okay, now I just need to put two trapdoors on this side. Oh. Oh, it, it, it yoinked my my blocks. You just stole my blocks from the, the wall. I'm supposed to put another trapdoor here. Okay, it's back and it yoinked more of my blocks. Give it back. Give back my glass blocks. It came to a stop. I think if I flip this, it should turn on again. Okay, it is. That's a good sign. Um, Please come back. Please come back. Please come back. It didn't come back. I think maybe because I have too many blocks here. Let's break a few pieces of obsidian. I'm pretty sure this is the one I need. Let's activate it again. And let's give it another try. Please work. Please work. Please work. Please work. Come on. Come back to me, daddy. Come back to me. It didn't come back. Okay, let's uh, let's retry this. Let's break everything and rebuild this. Maybe it'll help to build this underwater already because it's supposed to be already built in the water. All right, let's fly up here to the top. Let's build out a dirt platform. All right, let's fill the whole thing up with some water. I wish I was a British man. I'd get so many girls. Boy, I have a glass of water. Okay, I'll stop. I'm probably offending everybody. No, your voices, your accents are beautiful. <laughs> Mine is so boring. But anyways, let's remove all this dirt now and just let it rain. I wish it was raining money instead of water. I need some of that. That's why you should buy some cookie clothes. No, I was kidding. But seriously, though, I need to eat. Um, where's all my kelp? I... I lost my kelp. Nice. I lied about last time. I, I still need to uh I still need to come here and farm kelp. I'm still a loser. Let's get up here again and let's fill every single one of these blocks with a full water block using kelp. Yep, this is gonna be painful. Don't worry, I know what you're thinking. It wasn't long until I realized kelp grows, so I could just 
plant them and let it grow itself. <laughs> This will save me a lot of time than right-clicking all of this. Okay, it seems like the kelp has finally grown to the top, which means I can finally break all this. That took forever. Now, this is satisfying and also lagging out my computer is about to blow up. All right, there we go. Oh my God. So now every single piece of water in this little cube thing is a water. Yeah, talking is hard. <laughs> that made no sense. But now let's retry building the flying machine underwater. All right, I finished building it and let's turn it on and give it a try. Okay, it's moving underwater, which is pretty cool. It should not come back. Um, I don't know why I do this wrong every time. Why doesn't it ever want to go backwards? I don't get it. I'm doing something wrong here. Maybe the obsidian needs to be one block higher. Oh my God. Oh my God, it went back. <gasps> it's working, guys. Oh my God. Yes, it's working. That took me forever. Okay, so basically there's gonna be kelp growing underneath this flying machine. And every single time it grows up, like all the way to the top, I'll turn the machine on and I'll just fly by, break it all. It'll go up there and we'll collect it. Yes. Oh yeah. Now, if I want to stop this, I could just right click this lever huh? and it should stop right there. Please stop. Oh my God, this is amazing. Okay, I could probably cover all of this up now and all of this. Let's just make sure it still works with the glass in place. Please come back. Okay, it should. It shouldn't stick to any glass. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right, but since we got the first machine working, we could build a second one right beside it. So let's do it. I'm pretty excited to see this fully working. Let's turn her on and please work, please work, please. Oh, yeah. And it would look a lot cooler if they move together in synchrony. So let's turn these off and remove the levers on both. And let's connect them together using only one lever. So now if I flip this, they both move together at the same exact time. Oh, yeah. All right, now let's take our cup and plant a bunch of them right underneath the fly machine. Just like that. And once they're fully grown, we can turn on the fly machines and collect all of the kelp. But I don't want to come up here every time and collect all of the kelp by hand. So let's work on a collection system. Let's fill up the top with a dirt platform again quickly all right let's place on all of our water and let's let it rain so the idea is all of the cows will float up to the surface here and catch onto this little wave and you see all of the dirt just flies over there and we're gonna collect it so this is where the kelp waterfall will be exactly where all the dirt is we'll just make it a little bit cleaner <laughs> Uh, look at me. Look at me swim. <laughs> That's funny. Stop being a child, cookie. Sorry, dad. What is what? What is wrong with me? There's so many things. Let's not start now. Okay, anyways. And we'll finish this sorting system later because now I want to work on the water wheel outside of the factory that will collect all of this lake water and bring it through this water stream into this giant tank. I fill up this tank so it will keep the kelp from growing. It will keep the kelp... To, it'll keep the kelp growing and youtubing is hard <laughs> uh okay i just want to build this stream first so i know where i can put the waterfall and the smelting stuff for the kelp if that made sense um let's grab some andesite and a bunch of random spruce stuff that's the official name for everything trust me and now let's start working on this water wheel i don't think i've ever built one in my life so uh we'll give this a try let's first clear some more space so there's more water to collect from this lake so get away you stupid dirt make some room also make this cliff a little steeper so i could build closer to the factory let's fix up this water here and now let's make it a little bit deeper because it's kind of shallow oh, oh my god i thought the water was attacking me for a sec i didn't see you there buddy now i'll never see you again <laughs> all right since i love symmetry let's but they let's line up this a little uh yeah, why do I try to talk? <laughs> okay, I got this. Let's line up the area thing right here with this pillar because it's a three by three thing. So I could do a thingy here. Yep, doing great. Thanks, Cookie. Let's build it all the way up like this. And I think I'm gonna try to connect it with that square right there because it just would look cooler. So let's grab some logs and this will be the shaft. Let's have it stick out a bit. Let's strip it down because it just looks so much cooler. Let's throw a button and some trap doors around it for some like reinforcement so like it looks like the stick won't fall out of yep the wheel thingy let's anchor it down like this let's now somehow build a wheel um we're, we're getting there it's it's some progress oh god <laughs> okay let's try to put some more effort and detail into this all 
All right, there we go. It's looking pretty circular, I must say. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty good. The funny thing is, in real life, this water wheel wouldn't actually bring water into the factory. These are meant to generate electricity by turning this little uh, shaft. So we're going to fix it a little bit. Let's fly over to my iron factory. Let's grab some iron and let's craft some cauldrons. And let's put the cauldrons like right here and right here, down here and here. And let's fill them up. Oh, oh. Oh, come on, get in. There we go. Bam, bam. So now it actually looks like this water wheel is picking up water and it'll be dumping it into the factory. Makes more sense, right? All right, now let's start working on the water stream that will fill up this lake into the pool. Oh my God, I can't talk. <laughs> so the water will pretend to come from here. Let's have it travel seven blocks. So then the water will continue flowing. Let's drop it down one floor like this and continue it this way. And down again, right into the tank of water. Oh. That's a problem. We sort of have redstone in the way. Well, uh, I'm gonna redo this. Let's build it two blocks higher. <laughs> All right, now let's take the water and fill it up. So it looks like the water is being transferred from the lake into this stream. And if I break this, it's gonna kind of redirect water, which won't look right. So maybe I can just add some trap doors like that. There we go. Now the entire kelp farm is being supplied by some fresh water from the lake. That was pretty pointless, but hey, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> but now that this thing is made, we can start working on the collection system for the kelp farm. And now we'll know where the waterfall can go. And it seems like we have a big empty space right over here. Let's build out a little platform. That's seven blocks. Let's drop it down. Oh, let's drop it down one more. All right, it ends here perfectly. Now we can have another water stream come this way. Actually, I think I'm going to change all this. I want to move everything a few blocks lower so all the kelp will actually be water falling down a lot. Yeah, I'm just going to not talk and just do it because no one's even going to understand me. <laughs> ah, I'm really struggling today, guys. All right, I moved the water stream a little bit lower down here. And I already know the kelp's going to fly off this way. So let's build a little barrier in front of it so it can catch this wall and go right down to the stream. And there we go. Hopefully this works. Um, we'll give it a test later. But all the cups should flow around this entire factory and end up over here. So now let's build a auto smelter like this so I can turn the kelp into dried kelp. Let's grab some of my hoppers. There we go. And some chests. I also need to make a few smokers. And luckily for me, I know how to do that now. <laughs> 100 IQ. Yeah. Sleep time. Whee. All right. Let's take these hoppers here and let's spread them across like this. Come on. Why is it taking so... Oh, I'm using an Okay, nobody saw that. I was being really stupid there. <laughs> Let's put the smokers down right here. Oh, wait, that won't work. Um, I'm brain farting. Okay, I need to bring this out more. I need to put a hopper like this. Okay, honestly, let's just stick with one smoker. I really don't need to. Like, it's gonna produce me a lot of kelp, but it takes so long. So, so one smoker should be good. Let's put a hopper here and a chest on top. That would be the fuel source. And then a chest here and all of the dried kelp will just filter into here. Simple as that. So now let's come over here, take all the dried kelp blocks that we got. Well, they're not blocks yet, but they're gonna be blocks now. Let's put some over here. Oh yeah, that's a look of progress. And let's put some over here. There we go. It's finally time to test this kelp farm and this kelp waterfall and this kelp water stream and this kelp smelter thing and yeah let's just click the button bam okay there goes the the flying machine thingies there goes all the kelp going up to the surface and once it reaches the top oh yeah here's the kelp waterfall it all lands into the stream which is perfect i don't see anything landing on top of these blocks they're going down here and right into the hoppers oh my god is this working first try yo this is sick yo first try i love this okay it's going into here it should be smelting um nope oh. Okay, never mind. Not first try. We we messed up here. Um. Oh wait, I'm dumb. Never mind. I messed up. Not a cookie video if I don't mess up something. The hopper needs to face downwards like that, and then into the smoker like that. There we go. Now it's filling up. Let's put the chest here for the dried cut blocks, and now it's smelting. Nice. Let's put the chest here and the hopper there. Okay. Now we're now we're making progress. Now we're getting some dried kelp. Nice. Well, everything is working now. Um, this is pretty amazing. The final thing we need to build for this kelp factory is obviously the kelp 
item thing at the front just like the iron and the wood so we're gonna need a lot of green obviously because kelp is green um all right let's fly in here what do i need honestly i don't even know i'm guessing we're gonna need some lime concrete some green concrete maybe something in the middle like this terracotta and maybe some gray right for right down the middle anyways let's start building it All right, I also grabbed some shroom light so I can add some light to the back of this kelp block. Um, I'm not sure why. I think it'll just look cool. I think I did that for uh, none of my builds. Oh, never mind. I did it for the gold one. That should be it. And bam, that is the kelp factory. This might have been my favorite factory build of this entire series, to be honest. How did I end up here? What? But this one was a lot of fun. I just had a lot of fun building these farms and all these water stream thingies, and especially this water wheel. So thank you so much for watching. What the? Hey, yo, chill. Get out of my factory. You guys don't belong here. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh.